Oh, what's going on, trucking junkies? We are here in Shawnee, Oklahoma, at a place called UFP Packaging. Looks like they make pallets. I guess you can call that packaging. I don't know. Oh, don't know where we're going yet. Uh, I did get a message from my fleet manager. Oh, you see that right there? Don't worry about that right there. And I'm gonna explain why here in a minute. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> I got a message from my fleet manager and, and it wasn't uh, something I really wanted to hear. It said, if you get a job going to South Carolina, North Carolina, or Georgia today, call me so I can recalculate your route. See, that, mean, that tells me that he's been on the board already and looked, and he's not real happy about what's, what's on the board. So, and the problem is, is that hurricane wiped out a whole bunch of roads and stuff over there, including I-40 and I-26, if you haven't heard. They're talking about them not being open. Well, the first thing we heard was next year, 2025. And then they come out and they're like, well, some of it probably won't be open till 2028. They're assessing the damage. It's all the mudslides and stuff that are taking out parts of the interstate. Uh, over there by Pigeon Forge and the Pigeon River. Which is not good. Man, they've been working on that construction for years now and now it's all gone. All that money gone. So, hopefully, I won't get I won't get a job going out that way, I hope. They can leave those to the people that live over there. I wouldn't mind going over there and helping people, but I don't want to go driving that crap. Uh, seems like a pain in the butt. Okay, so, yesterday, I'm getting this tarp, these tarps on, which, I come to find out that I'm not real happy about. Because I didn't have to tarp this crap. See, they, let me give you some advice. And I should take my own advice. You know, don't assume you know what's going on with these loads. Every time I go to that place, the place I picked this up at yesterday, every other time, I've never had a no tarp load come out of there. So I assumed it was no tarp. Yup. Or I assumed it was a tarp. Tarp load, right? It was not. That's why I'm not worried about this little bitty gap right here. It's not a tarp load. Shouldn't have had tarps on it. So that's my mistake. That's my bad. Look, I said that. Uh, so I spent an hour yesterday putting these tarps on, getting them all cinched up. Didn't have to. That's just stupidity on my part. But getting these things on, so that's that's number one advice. Right? <clears throat> Is look at your, look, make sure you look at your stuff. And don't assume like I do. See, I've been doing this for years and I still screw up. Don't worry about screwing up. You screw up sometimes. Okay. So, here's my other advice to you. Stuff out here happens. Stuff is going to happen. And you're going to do this and you're going to you're going to try to do this as safely as possible. Okay, and we we have things that we do to make it safe, right? 
but some of these places some of them you got to crawl your butt on top of this stuff and put this stuff on okay yesterday i was on here all right so look you see all this there's no place to put a foot and get a foothold man there's just none whatsoever okay so in order to get on top of it i had to get up on the box right and i had to lean over and grab the strap and pull myself on top okay and i did that no problem you know 50 something year old dude getting up here doing stuff right making work happen and everything was fine everything was beautiful until i had to get back off of it usually i'll find my foothold and i'll put a foot on it and then i'll lower myself down i've done it a hundred times well yesterday was the hundredth and one time and it decided to bite me in the butt literally in the butt where let's go to the other side and i'll show you so i came down off of here and i'm on my belly and i got my feet dangling right and i lower myself down and i'm thinking i'm you know maybe a foot from the from the catwalk drop down no problem right apparently i was way further than that away from the catwalk and i dropped down and one of my feet slipped off of here and that caused me to hit my butt on the catwalk dude my tailbone is so sore this morning <laughs> it's <clears throat> it's not bad enough where i can't drive and you know walk around do stuff okay it wasn't that bad the guy next to me though he thought i'd done killed myself <laughs> his eyes got about that big around he's like because i when i when i when i hit the catwalk my helmet flew off my glasses flew off and i hit a pretty i had a thud right and uh uh, thank you to him he's like are you okay <laughs> like yeah man i'm all right <laughs> they're like that hey, last step's a doozy <laughs> but just know that you could do something you know like i said a hundred times the same way and nothing ever happened and you do it again you know and you fall on your butt Thank God I got a padded butt, huh? Uh, uh, I was pretty slow to get up this morning, though. Kind of banged my knee up on the wood product. That's pretty, that's kind of sore, you know? Uh, but my butt, man, after driving for a minute this morning, uh, about 200 miles, man i got up out of this truck a while ago to go to the bathroom Woo, like oh i feel that heck yeah but just 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 always know that this job is dangerous okay and stuff happens out here and we try to like i said we try to we try to lessen you know the the things that can go wrong by paying attention and trying to think things through it's just sometimes, you know, a bungee has a mind of its own. It come back and smack you right in the face. <clears throat> Lots of examples of that out there. Oh. oh, the other day on Facebook, I saw uh, uh, this trainer. She's she's. She's been training for about a month, I think they I think she said. Uh, or Eric said, one or the other. We're, we're out there talking. And uh, I think she I think he said she'd been a she'd been a trainer for about a month. Well it's been probably it's probably been two months now. But anyway, 
the other day on Facebook, she posted where she, one of these bungees come back and got her right in the cheek. And she had, she had broken lip, cheek on one side was all, you know, bloody, poor thing. And her, her boyfriend, husband, fiance, whatever he is, uh, he's also a trainer with Maverick. Uh, he's a pretty good guy. I've talked to him a few times. Uh, but anyway, like I said, even even some of the best of us out here, man, we're gonna get hit. You're gonna get you're gonna get bruises. You're gonna get scrapes and scratches, stuff like that. I, I carry a first aid kit in the truck on the passenger side and it's got antiseptic wipes in it alcohol wipes in it different kinds of band-aids pads anything that I might need to you know help with anything that might go wrong that I can take care of Oh, man. I picked this trailer up yesterday and it's got these jacked up tarps on there. Great. Oh. And we are also here early by about an hour and a half. My appointment time was at 1 o'clock. But it's going to take me until 12 30 get this stuff off probably come on now uh, there we go if you've not hit the subscribe button yet please do so it's free to you helps me out helps out the channel uh, there we go all right I didn't pick up a bag of bungee or a box of bungees yesterday either while I was getting getting this truck restocked. It didn't have anything in it, man, it's other than this other than the tarps. I had to get boards and more straps and there we go. I had to stock it with all kinds of crap. See, look at this. That's what that dude's been using. I mean, all jacked up up there. I mean, it can't be perfect, but you know, they gotta have all the D rings and stuff at least. two for one and you drive in guys y'all don't know nothing about that falling off a trailer do you you fall off the back end of your trailer you're doing something wrong that's what i would say my opinion oh man is this good okay hopefully this is good 
This is where I'm at. It looks like they do other stuff besides pallet. Look at those crates. Crating stuff up. Creating crates. New straps. And I slept a lot last night. And I think I, I think I got to bed about 8.30. Didn't get up until 6.30. I don't know what my problem is. Trying to get back into the routine of things, I guess. That make anybody tired of doing this stuff. I gotta get a video done from yesterday. I didn't do that last night. Some days you're just worn out. Worn out. And yesterday was one of them. But I know it's going to be starting getting cold before long. Or they'll send us up places where it is cold already. eat that's what I need yeah I'm gonna eat a lunch while I'm sitting here I've got a I've got a herb and crusted chicken I think I've got I think I've got one pasta dish I know I've got a couple of chickens in there.
I didn't eat it all last night. I'm just too tired. Sleep more than eat. Was last night's mantra. This morning I got woke up, drove a drink a protein shake. Now, speaking of protein shakes, I don't know if y'all are like me, but you know, 20 years ago, the drinking protein shakes, they tasted like crap. Complete crap, chalky, gritty, couldn't get them to shake up well. Never tasted like what they were supposed to taste like. But I will tell you though, Fair Life protein shake, 26 gram and 30 gram, tastes like chocolate milk. I like really good stuff. Like no chalk, no grit. Any of y'all ever had Promised Land milk? Promised Land chocolate milk? If you have, you know what I'm talking about. Cause it is the bomb of chocolate milk. I mean like, it is like, dude, I don't care what you've had. If you've not had Promised Land, you ain't had the best. Seriously. That stuff is like drinking Hershey's. Like drinking a, like drinking a, uh, a Hershey's candy bar, man. Freaking awesome. And and that Fairlife protein shake is almost as good. It is really good stuff. One in the morning. One one for one for breakfast, one for lunch. And then my regular meal at night. The factory meal. Now, while I was at home this this past week it is halloween season yes it is i gotta do something with these i'll stick them in here and stick them in my trash i guess get in there there you go uh halloween season and we hand out like man like thousand pieces 1500 pieces they just got bags of candy at the house and my dumb bud opened one of them while i was at home maybe two of them <laughs> oh okay i opened one and my wife opened the other because she wanted reese's and Needless to say, we didn't eat them. We didn't eat it all. But we made a good chunk out of it. So I had to take the other bags of candy and put them up above my cabinetry with a, with a step stool so I'd keep my grubby hands out of them. Because I am dropping some weight. But, you know, sucking down candy all day, like Fez on that 70s show, does not bode well for me.
and I am off for Halloween. I go home that Wednesday and I'm off the rest of that week. I've got to do, my wife will be at work on Halloween day, so I get to do all the all the last minute prep. We're gonna have a, so we're doing, I don't know, a few years ago, some of you guys might have remembered that we did a, we did an alien setup. And my wife was an alien and I was an astronaut. And that was at our BB house. And now that we've moved to Jacksonville, we're gonna do that set up again. Mainly because we had some of the stuff already. We had the costumes. We had uh uh, we had a good idea of what was supposed to go where since we've done it already uh we had uh we had some of our aliens left over we bought a bunch of stuff we're keeping amazon in business during halloween i bet uh, we bought a uh, the first time we did it, we didn't have any blow-ups. We just had our handmade stuff. And then this year, along with our handmade alien spaceship craft, or spacecraft, we also have a blow-up that stands about nine foot tall. And it's 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 a spaceship that is got a beam that comes down to the ground and it, it it's actually meant for a, like a uh, so so a person can get in it and take pictures you know but we're gonna have a cow in there like it's being beamed up we're gonna have a we're gonna have an alien autopsy table a table with a skeleton of a of an alien on it with all this i've got i got body parts you know organs and stuff ordered to paint those green or whatever uh we'll have a we'll have a hovering spacecraft we'll also have a uh we'll have a crashed spacecraft lots of lights lots of stuff for the kiddos to look at good enough but yeah we'll have a good old time And now we wait. 